Hello, hello and welcome back or welcome. I am book lover Lorna and today we're going to be loving other things. Now, books are a huge part of my life but what is also a huge part of my life is Disney and Marvel. So Disney is probably a bigger, bigger chunk, yeah definitely a bigger chunk of my life than Marvel is. Big Marvel fan but also a huge Disney fan. I've been to uh, Disney parks in Florida and Paris and uh, a a mad is we're just going to say a mad amount of times a mad amount of times um and i'm hoping it won't be too long until i can go to florida again um i super super love the parks in florida um i love disney movies i love disney things you might notice you know the eagle eye of you that there are quite a few disney things in my flat so i've got like disney uh wall art in my lounge um I've actually got a big old Minnie Mouse that kind of like she sits in the corner I mean looking around now I can see a Dumbo key ring I've got uh Bambi mugs a Dumbo like a cup thing I've got I can see two pairs of Minnie Mouse ears and um like the cat from can't remember oh my goodness I can't remember what it's called but I've got these cat ears from a Disney film I've got I've collected the um, these Disney notebooks, Disney Wisdom notebooks. Um, I can see, I can see, I can see a plush Dumbo. A, all my pins are up there. I've got, I'm a pin collector, so I am a, like a little, a little bit Disney man. I'm not like Disney bonkers, maybe just a little bit, but I am Disney like. I love Disney. I love Disney. Um, I mean, I've got Mickey Mouse here, Stitch here. I've got Angel. She's not called Stitch. Angel here. Um, I've got a big Stitch here. Stitch is my favourite. If you don't know, my mum got me this for Christmas one year. Like, isn't he the cutest? When you're sad and you're like watching TV and you just want like some company because, you know, live on my own um and you just like want a cuddle if you give stitch a cuddle it's it makes you feel better so i love him he's massive um if you can already tell that but yeah i've got a lot of um a lot of disney stuff like i collect disney traditions um what do you call them figurines like i've got that's oh that's not very good lighting is it um there's 101 dalmatian one that I've got up here a Dumbo one, a Winnie the Pooh one. You can't see them, but they're up on these shelves. So I am a little, little, little bit Disney mad. So I thought, you know, it might not be something that I talk about on this channel very often because this is mostly books, but you know, who's to say that I can't talk about other things too? Nobody, because it's my channel. I can do with it what I like. Um, and I want to talk about Disney. So today I just thought random video. Um, and the only reason I thought of this is because I was thinking of videos to do and someone knocked my door that's what someone someone knocking my door actually they used my door knocker um <laughs> so i ran down to the door and i was like what have i ordered absolutely no idea and i went to the door Royal Mail, and i was like there you go i was like thanks i didn't remember ordering anything he was like aha it's your lucky day and i opened it up and what do you know it was a puzzle that i ordered off ebay um, so I thought, oh wow, why don't I just share the puzzles that I've got? Because I've got quite a few Disney puzzles that I've not done. And I'm slowly learning that whenever I start a thousand piece puzzle on my own, in isolation, in my flat, I don't finish it. <laughs> no, actually that's a lie. I did finish some last year. Um, but this morning I put away one that I started in Wales' fire break, which was like, when was that? October, November. And I still hadn't finished. And I'd done really well, but it was just at the really tricky bits. And I knew that without someone's help, I wasn't going to do it. So I put it away. Um, I'll try again another day. So I'm basically going to show you my Disney puzzles um, and talk you through my favourite ones, essentially. Which some of you, some of you aren't going to watch this video. Some of you don't like Disney. Some of you don't like puzzles. That's absolutely fine. But I want to film this video. So it's going on my channel. That's that's what's happening because like it just I'm so happy talking about Disney like look I'm so buzzing to be talking about my Disney puzzles I love Disney I love puzzles I love Disney puzzles ah right okay so most of my puzzles I do buy from eBay second hand uh, there aren't that many I think that I've 
Oh no, was, actually maybe about half of them I've brought new. But I really like to, this is probably one of the only things that I buy on eBay, is I just look at puzzles and then I get in the last 15 seconds and get my bid in. I'm completely silent until the last 15 seconds and then I'm like, ha, that's mine. And then I'm like, oh no, I got another puzzle. So, you know. So yeah, eBay is my place to shop for puzzles because they are they are actually kind of harder to buy brand new. Um, what I do regret is missing out on the Disney Puzzle Castle collection that Disney are doing at the moment. Like every, it's every like month or something they bring out a new castle puzzle. So they did like the Mulan one. Um, what one have they got at the moment? The is it Tangled? Tangled Castle? I'm not sure. Um, but you, it's really hard to get hold of them once you've missed them. Um, one puzzle that I really do want to get my hands on is the 10th anniversary of Up. But the problem is, all these puzzles, they only really come out in America. So when you look on eBay for that, this Up puzzle, which is beautiful. Um, Up is one of my favourites, hence the Up wall art in my lounge. Um, you just can't get it for an affordable price. Like I looked the other day and it was like £30. And then £20 shipping because it's coming from America. And I was like, I can't spend £50 on a puzzle. Like, that's extortionate. Um, so anyway, let me take you through the puzzles that I've got. Just because I love to share Disney things. Um, right, so the first one that I ever bought from eBay. And uh, never finished. And I might actually resell this one because... It's so, so hard. Like, I actually had this. I've got a puzzle caddy where you can, like, do the puzzle and then you put it, fold the sides in and you can stand it up and put it behind a unit, which is what I do so it's not always out. I had this on the go for, for about, I think it's actually longer than a year. And I didn't finish it. It was, it was tragic. It really was. Um, it was so difficult. Um, it's this one here. So... It's a Dumbo puzzle. I love Dumbo. Um, and I managed to kind of do the outside edge, but I still got it wrong because there was, there was a gap and the piece that I had left didn't fit in it. And I couldn't figure out where I'd gone wrong around the edge to fix it. Um, so yeah, essentially it's got Dumbo in the middle. You've got Timothy Q Mouse over here, but all this like water bit here, I have no idea what you can see. Um, all the water and like the edge of the pail was so hard like no matter how hard I tried I just couldn't do it and there's also a lot like in the shadow so a lot of very dark pieces and it was just not possible so I put it back in its box and because I had this out for so long I actually have no inclination to finish this like I don't even want to do it but is it, I think this is my only Dumbo puzzle, so maybe I shouldn't shouldn't get rid of it. Collector's edition. Well, I'm a puzzle collector, but I think they've done like these four. Yeah, they have. Oh, I've got the back on backwards. So collector's edition. They do these in. Oh wow. They do these in um, like lots of the films that first came out, came out. So there's a Snow White one, a Bambi one, my face is itchy, Cinderella and Fantasia. So they've got the years and everything on them. Fantasia looks really cool. I have no idea if you can see what I'm what I'm trying to show you. But um, yeah, that's, that's kind of cool. But again, the Fantasia one looks extremely difficult because it's got a lot of the same colour on it. The problem in this video is going to be that noise. Now, a super cool puzzle, which I actually did do during, you know, lockdown part one in 2020, last year, um, and it was quite enjoyable to do, actually, is this one just here. So this puzzle is circular, if you hadn't already got that. It's super cute. So essentially, it is the all the characters, slash films, that came out before Walt Disney died, um, and around the edge, it's got, it says them all, so it says Sleeping Beauty, 101 Dalmatians, Mary Poppins, Jungle Book. Also, because this is circular, you think it'd be really, really difficult, but it wasn't. It was actually kind of easier because it was circular, because some of the pieces had kind of shapes to them that you could kind of get a gist of where they were. And there's a lot of different colours on here. I mean, the castle is not particularly easy. I did struggle with that a little bit, and there's a lot of yellow, but there are a lot of different colours. Um, so yeah, essentially all the characters um, that were out before he died, super interesting, um, 
super nice puzzle to do very nice one um and a thousand piece one that i actually finished on my own round of applause thank you next we have two puzzles that i bought and haven't opened they're still in their cellophane so we have this one here i think i bought this one from the disney store um i've not done it because it looks really hard <laughs> I just like to buy these things, like, not actually do them if they're hard. So it's a thousand pieces, 90 years of magic. So it's from the year when, uh, when 90, when Mickey had his 90th anniversary. I've even got like a jumper which says 90 on it. Why have I not worn a Disney top for this video? Why have I not worn a Disney top for this video? I have so much Disney clothes. Why did I not think about that? I kind of want to go and change into a Disney top. Oh wow, what a failure. This is the perfect time to wear a Disney top. Um, so yeah, it's, by the looks of it, it's essentially um, Mickey's life cycle. Not his life cycle because he's not, that sounded weird. Um, the beginning of his life and then it comes forward, it starts to go into colour um, and to what he is now. So it looks like this. Can you see? I don't know if you can. Yeah, you can. Oh, there we go. So it looks like that, thousand pieces. As you can see, looks really hard. So I've not done it. Now the next one, I didn't actually buy that long ago, but is also still in its cellophane. Um, another thousand pieces one. The problem I have with thousand pieces one is that I need someone else to do them with me. So like when I get to visit home, um, like me and mum smash through a thousand, pe a thousand puzzle piece thousand piece puzzle there you go thousand piece puzzle um but on my own they are i do i lose my patience like there's only so much patience i have for something and how much time and energy i can put into it before i'm like it's not for me anymore um now this one is really cool because i love the great gatsby and this is a disney great gatsby party so you can see you've got like the pool and everything at the bottom um, and then the staircase and they're all in like fancy dresses and everything with the pearls, with the heels. Um, you know, there's balloons. There's what is essentially like a little orchestra. Um, I'm sure there's a better name for that. But this puzzle is super cool. I love it. I can't wait to do it one day. Um, but I'm not going to even attempt to do this on my own because there is a lot of black and white. And there is a lot of brown. And then a lot of like green. So, I mean, there's not, it's not particularly easy looking, is it? So I won't be tempting that one on my own, but one day it will be conquered. Now, the next puzzle has a bit of a story to it. So this one is in cellophane, um, because I haven't done this particular one, but essentially what happened was, um, not last year, year before maybe, um, I bought on eBay a thousand piece Disney Christmas puzzle and it was second hand, the box is a bit, you know, damaged and everything, which is absolutely fine, it's no problems, as long as the puzzle is all there, it's okay. So we did that, it was a great puzzle, and the year after, I, actually this must have been a few years ago, the year after, I asked my dad to get me a Disney puzzle, uh, like for Christmas or my birthday, because they're both really close together, and he got me the same puzzle, as the one that I bought on eBay, obviously not realising that I'd already got it and done it, but in 500 pieces. <laughs> so I have the same puzzle again, but in 500 pieces. Now I'll show you, I hope you can see because it's got the, the cellophane on it. So it's essentially so many Disney characters. It's such a lovely, lovely puzzle. You've got um, like the train in the middle, Christmas decorations on, you've got Christmas tree. Um, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous puzzle um so i've got it also in a 500 pieces now which i haven't done yet that'll probably be like saved for a year when i want a bit of a quick puzzle to do don't have so much time available or if i need to do a christmas puzzle on my own this will be the year i do this one and then so i opened that i think i opened it on christmas morning um and this was a year when you were allowed to go places and see people um we went to my grandma's for christmas like we do every year apart from this year just gone because you know you couldn't mix at christmas um and my mum's opening her christmas presents from my grandparents and yeah it's not just my grandma's house it's my grandma and my gramps's house but we just say grandma's house um she's she wears the trousers so mum is opening her presents and um she's shaking it she's like this seems like a puzzle 
So she opens it and what is it? It's another thousand piece version of this puzzle. So we ended up with the one I bought on eBay, a thousand pieces, the one that mum got from my grandparents, also a thousand pieces, and then this one, which is 500 pieces. So I gave my one that I bought on eBay um, to my friend's mum because she loves Disney and puzzles. So I gave her that one to do and I'm left with the 500 piece one and then the thousand piece one is still at my parents' one. Um, but me and mum, mum would have it, give it to me anyway and we share them. So um, yeah, I've got, I ended up with three of these puzzles, but I've now currently got the one in my possession, which is 500 pieces, and it's gorgeous. Such a lovely Christmas um, puzzle. I did do another Christmas puzzle this Christmas just gone with Mum, a thousand piece one, which was also gorgeous, but a little bit more difficult, although we did do it quite quickly. Um, that is actually in the loft, and I can't be bothered to get it down, so I'm going to leave it there. Um, but I will put a picture... I put a picture just on the screen over my face or what um so you can see what that one is all about but it was super lovely it didn't take too long um but just another nice christmas puzzle again one that i bought from ebay it's obvious how much i love disney i need to rebrand this as a disney channel because um this video is long already now another puzzle uh that i've got and this is the one that i put away this morning that i've had going on for about two months now um and i almost got to the end but again it's just it's too much for one person. I need to learn not to start a thousand piece puzzle on my own. Um, so this is one that my mum bought me for Christmas a couple of years ago. This is the Disney Orchestra, um, but it's a panorama one, a panoramic, panorama. No, they call it a panorama, but I would call it a panoramic. Um, yeah, so we've got, I don't know if you can see at all, but you've got loads of Disney characters up in the stalls. These are uh, like ribbon, I know, curtain things are really quite hard to do, um, to find the right pieces. These kind of faces, these were quite easy. I mean, you can't really see that well, but closer up you can see. We've got, um, you know, the Dalmatians, we've got the Pooh Bear characters, um, Fairy Godmothers, all the princesses. You've got all the villains up in this corner. Um, Jungle Book characters, Dumbo's there, and then along the front we've got Mickey's, you know, like Mickey's family, um, all as like orchestral, you know, we've got drums, um, we got um, harp, double bass, uh, which Goofy's on, you know, it's, it's a very, it's a very lovely puzzle, but just too much for one person to finish. I mean, if I just sat and like forced myself, I could have, but it was giving me bad back because I do my puzzles on the floor. So it was time to retire it back to its box. I will do it again at some point. It's a lovely quality puzzle. Um, but yeah, yeah, I will get back to it. I will, I will attempt it again. Now, the next two are ones that I've bought from eBay. Now, these ones, these boxes are a little bit damaged, but it doesn't matter. I haven't tried, I haven't done them yet to see if the puzzles, are, puzzle pieces are all in there. Actually... Oh, I was going to say that one looks like it's brand new, but it's not. Um, the box is actually really damaged on this one. So this is really cute. I bought this one, like I say, on eBay, and I just thought this was such a lovely puzzle. So it's essentially, like, loads of Disney characters on... Oh my god, I've forgotten the name of it. Main Street. On Main Street. Oh, I'm a failure of a Disney fan. Um, so on Main Street. So I don't know if you can see, you've got the castle in the background, you've got the Main Street shops all up the side... Um, and then everyone's just kind of like, you know, dancing and living their best life in in Main Street, in, in Disney World. Um, and it's it's just really cute. Like, you've got so many people in here. Loads of the Dalmatians, Peter Pan, the Genie, Scrooge. Um, little Belle. There are some people I don't even recognise in here. That's so bad. Ah, oh, that's from Alice in Wonderland. I don't like Alice in Wonderland. That's why I don't recognise him. Ah, oh, Aladdin is even on his carpet. Like, it's just super cute. So I'm looking forward to doing this one, 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 one day. What I do kind of wish is that Disney did more 500 piece puzzles because, you know, we've already established that I don't have the motivation really to do a thousand piece ones of my own. Although, the other piece is small on this one. They're, they're okay. I mean, looking at the pieces, you, some of them do look quite simple. They've got quite a good lot of colour in them. I imagine the hard part on this one is going to be, like, the floor area. 
like around here and maybe like the sky might be a bit difficult might cha might be challenging not difficult challenging um but then the next one i guess this is kind of similar to the orchestral one but i just thought this was again super cute um i should buy more puzzles with just like specific characters in rather than all the disney gang um but this is all the disney gang this one's even got lilo and stitch on it Oh, they're so cute. Um, and it's essentially a stage performance. So we've got curtains all around the outside. We've got people in the, what do you call these? Um, the boxes. Um, and then we've got in the stalls, you've got like Dumbo's head. I can see Mad Hatter, uh, Queen of Hearts, Bambi, the Beast. And then there's loads of people, well, loads of Disney characters performing uh on stage so we've got like princess Inns twirling we've got people back here playing instruments and everything having a boogie like it's it, again super cute i'm going to say that about all my puzzles because i wouldn't buy them if i didn't think that they were super cute this video timing is getting out of hand we've got two left but these are longer ones so which one shall i show you first now i'll show you first the one that i bought today that i had arrived today sorry now this one's from ebay the next one isn't i have fallen in love with thomas kincaid puzzles so essentially he does um paintings of these beautiful disney scenes and they are they really are gorgeous they are like beautiful paintings and i first like saw them when i went to florida actually we'll swap this because the other one is the one that i bought so when i last went to florida which was 2019 um in one of the the shops in downtown disney which is now called disney springs but i'm used to it being called downtown disney um in disney springs um i saw these thomas king k puzzles now they're not cheap compared to the others they're not cheap but they are so beautiful that I will, when I go again, I'll be getting more because they're just amazing. And you can't really get them in this country unless someone has bought them and is now reselling it in this country on eBay, for example. They are a little bit more expensive. Um, there are loads of them that I want. I really want this Mulan one, which is gorgeous because I don't have a Mulan puzzle. And Mulan is my favourite Disney princess because she's a badass. Um and they're just gorgeous so when i was in florida in 2019 i picked up this one now these come in 500 piece puzzles so much better for my attention span so there are four 500 piece ones in a box i don't know if i'll be able to show you them very well so the first one in here i've only done one of these by the way that i did in lockdown part one last year so we've got tinkerbell and peter pan fly to neverland um which looks i don't know oh is that a bit better for you like if i go out of the way in my bright forehead so that's just two we've got peter pan it's just it's lovely um and then tinkerbell is just there and then the next one we've got the lion king um oh let me get my head out of the way so you can see so the lion king just here hi um and then down here we've got the jungle book I should really re-watch The Jungle Book. I feel like I haven't seen it in ages. I should get that up on Disney+. Plus. I'm too busy watching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. at the moment. Um, so The Jungle Book down here. And then over here, we've got Pinocchio Wishes on a Star, which is the one that I did last year, um, which was super lovely. It is quite hard. It is only 500 pieces, but because I guess the fact that it's painted and there's a lot of blended like colours and everything, that was a little bit challenging. Um, but I did really enjoy it. And I felt very accomplished when it was done. I feel like uh, the Lion King one might be a little bit simpler, but um, that was the one that I wanted to do at the time. So yeah, you get four in a pack, and like I said, they are a bit more expensive, but I guess you do get four puzzles. So realistically, it probably works out cheaper, but for buying like one box, it feels like a lot of money. Um, but definitely worthwhile. Whoa, all the puzzles are falling. Now my other, and my last uh, puzzle, the Thomas Kincaid set, is the one that arrived today in the post and made me do this video, which you've now got. How long is this? Like 20 minutes, half an hour? I don't even know of me just talking about Disney puzzles and being excited about Disney puzzles. There must be someone else out there who loves Disney puzzles as much as I do and is gonna watch this video. Someone is gonna watch this video. Um, so this one here, 
bought on eBay um, because every so often I just want to buy Disney puzzles. And this is again another 500 puzzle, another four 500 piece puzzles. There we go. Um, it's got another Lion King one in it. Um, so let's just, I'll just show you them. So we've got, and this one looks incredibly hard, but so beautiful, um, Cinderella. So you can see Cinderella dancing there with the prince, um, the castle in the background, but look how similar all those colours are. Like, that's going to be so hard. Uh, I would love to be able to do these puzzles and put them up in frames, um, but I just don't know where I'd put them in the place that I live at the moment. I could put them in the hallway, but it would just, I feel like the hallway could be a bit weird if you just got loads of beautiful puzzles in it. That would be strange. But um, then we've also got the Lion King. Which I think the other Lion King one looks a bit easier just because there was more different colours in it. You had like, the other one had um, animals I call down here and then it was like rays of light rather than the whole sky being quite light. But again, it's still really cute. Now my favourite one in this set and one that I actually wanted to get on its own but I've got as part of this so I don't need it anymore. Stop myself from buying more. Um, is The Little Mermaid. So I think this is super beautiful. Look at the water, like the colours are amazing. So you've got uh, Eric and Ariel just, you know, on on their little bow. Ariel's uh, mermaid on the bottom half. Um, I know she is mermaid at the moment, not just on her bottom half. Um, and you've got Flounder. And it's. I just think that that is so gorgeous. I hope the light is kind of adjusting to it because the colours are lovely. Um, and then we've also got, which is one that I kind of, I wanted to get one of Mickey and Minnie on their own in Thomas Kincaid, which I don't need to because now I've got this. See, it kills more than one bird. Do you see, do you see with the stone? You know what I'm saying? You you know the, I didn't say it quite right, but you know the, the saying. Um, so this is Mickey and Minnie over, I think it's called like Love Heart Bridge or something like that. Actually, I've just realized they're in Central Park. That's Central Park. If you see the buildings in the background, you can see the Empire State. Um, I've only just gotten onto that. So you see just here, Empire State is like over here. There's like New York backgrounds. This is obviously Central Park. And then there's Mickey and Minnie. Um, I hope that me showing you these has been successful on the screen. Um, but yeah, they're super, super beautiful. I think Thomas Kincaid puzzles are like my favourite. And... If I could have them all, I would, but they're so expensive. And I need to do the ones that I've got. Really. But then, obviously, the problem is, what do you do with them when they're done? You put them back in the box. It's just not the same, is it? Um, but, yeah, that's those are all my Disney puzzles. Um, so, if you love Disney puzzles as much as I do, please do comment, because I would love to chat to someone else who loves Disney and Disney puzzles as much as I do. Um, I need someone to do Disney puzzles with me, really, but live on my own, so I need... To, to hire someone to be friends with me who loves Disney puzzles because none of my friends really do that they you know my, no no they don't yeah they don't they're not really uh, some of them would probably do Disney puzzles with me but they just live away and stuff they're not close to me they live far away in in England and I live in Wales so yeah I am a big fan for Disney puzzles uh that's basically the conclusion of this video. I hope I haven't bored you to tears and you've been inspired to go and find some of these Disney puzzles. Um, and maybe even buy one. Go and buy a Disney puzzle. Go and join me in my Disney puzzle obsession, please, so that I don't feel quite such a weirdo. Um, anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, and instead of happy reading, happy puzzling. I'm just such a nerd. Oh my god. Ah, yes, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye!